You were lucky you already have a nice rapport. Well, we talked on the phone once. What does that uh, mean? Okay. <laughs> oh. She's doing things with her that okay. and then a, one of these. I think that means... I don't even know what all those signals mean, but let's get down to let's why we're start. here. Let's start. Vladimir, Nicole, great to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, um, too. Saw it's your really film. really nice to meet you, Rick. <laughs> Coming in for the hug now. And the kiss. <laughs> and, and, and the blowing of the in the ear. <laughs> I, I'll take it. I will take it. I like the love in this room. Um, listen, you're part of the Canadian Film Festival. Yes, very the, excited the, to be here. Yeah. I, I was, Hello. <laughs> I was going to get to it, though. Your film is one of, what, 10 films, feature films in this festival? There's a few short films. That's the research I did. Um, how does it feel to have your film being shown here to these good Canadians at this Canadian Film Festival? Awesome. It's, it's great. Um, this is our Canadian premiere. We just finished a three-festival U.S. circuit, starting with Cinequest in California, which is a was a great starting place for us and that was our world premiere and so after those festivals now we came home for a Canadian premiere and we're very excited about it. It's a very, it's a sad storyline in my eyes, in many eyes, the people that will be watching this and you feel so bad for these people in a way and, and, and you, you just want everything to be okay but in the end, and I'm not going to give away much, it just doesn't end up that, uh, that way sometimes. Um, how difficult was it for you guys as actors to shoot these scenes? Well, I think the reason why people feel that way about the film when they watch it, and we've gotten that response a lot, is because it's real people in the movie. There's no big win the lottery moment. There's no super villain. You know, there's no villains in the film. It's real people facing real struggles, doing the best they can with what they have. And you know what? In real life, it, you don't get your big white night coming in on the horse moment so this movie doesn't have that either and, and if i may uh, not not so much the acting part but just the film overall i i actually just watched 127 hours and i was quite moved many times throughout that film and depending on how you look at it you could look at that as a very sad story or or a, a incredible uh moral and human uh, a story of accomplishment and human resilience and human resilience yeah. and I think I think our movie I would like to think anyways our movie has some of that quality to it mm -hmm. because I think the lead character Luba she goes through some some pretty intense struggles but we see a change by the end of the film we see a different person and, and I and I hope and I'm and I feel like that at the end of the film people will know that she's gonna have a better life she's gonna make better choices yeah. and things things are gonna be looking up for her and her son 100% you're rooting for Luba, your character, throughout the whole film. Now, your character, uh, I liked you at the dinner table in that first scene, but since that scene forward, I just hated your guts. <laughs> just absolutely hated your guts 100%. And is that, is, is that a compliment to your acting skills? I think it's, yeah, that's going to be a matter of, of personal taste. Sure, I think some sure. people are going to relate to some... Uh, we were talking with... Uh, the uh, founder of the festival, Byrne, just before this, and he was saying he actually was quite sympathetic with, with uh, my character, Donnie. And I, we've met other people. We start, we've only been in attendance for four screenings, but we've spoken with quite a few audience members afterwards, yeah. and we've had a lot of feedback where people have said, we know these people. Uh, these are people that either they, uh, they know personally or, or from secondhand experience, and they're relatable and, and sympathetic. Yeah. Um, and that is my hope, is that more people will find Donnie sympathetic than not. Now, I understand it's a hard, he's a hard character to relate to, but I hope people will find some humanity there. I've also met some people that weren't sympathetic to Luba, the title character. Okay. And, yeah. you know, th there's a lot of women that I spoke to that were very frustrated with her and her flaws and her lack of being able to make what the audience think would be better decisions than that, you know. And they were frustrated with her and, and, and you know, less sympathetic. So I think it's a very personal reaction, who, who you sympathize with and who you root for. Yeah, yeah. true. I, I think we did, this movie does a good job. Uh, the problem with these kinds of movies typically is that it's really hard to find that middle ground between an entertaining story where you can see character and story development and um, finding that, m that really small middle ground. Either people are too cardboard cutouts, cartoony, yeah. or it's too slice of life and boring. I think what our film does is it finds that middle ground. I, I've, I really believe that, and it seems the response from the audience has been so far that um, where each 
each of our main characters is flawed, but they have redeeming qualities, they're struggling, there are victories, but they're not huge. Right. They're, they're smaller, they're more inside, and, and I hope that the audience will see that. I'm sure they will. I also want to talk about another character, the, the setting, the city of Toronto. Was it uh, quite a challenge yeah. to shoot around this city, or oh. was it pretty simple? You thought it was a challenge? No, 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 no. No, I think the city of Toronto, like just technically, was so cooperative and so eager to have people make work in the city. They made it, they made it very easy, and they were given free permits and stuff. You know, as long as you follow the rules and fill out the paperwork, Toronto was an awesome cooperative partner, and, in my opinion. Yep. Absolutely, and I was so excited to show Toronto. Yeah, our city's yeah. awesome. <laughs> our city's awesome. Why is our city never shown yeah. for for the? Who it is. To, they're always trying to turn Toronto into New York. New York yeah, yeah, we all Chicago, know that. We all know it's everywhere else, but our city's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And we just, we don't have any of the, any, yeah. like, landmark films, that, maybe a few TV shows yet, but I don't think there's any, like, uh, iconic films yet that yeah. showcase Toronto. Certainly not in the modern era. You can go back a bit where there's some of those films. But in recent years, it's mostly the disguise. Well, that church, the, is it Ukrainian church that yeah. you guys shot in? I, yeah. I lived near there oh, for know. many, many, many years. <laughs> now, I'm Catholic, so I never went to that church, yeah. but we passed by it all the time. And, uh, it's Just so the place. church doesn't get upset that yes. we're, mis, mis, uh, we're implying something that isn't, we did not shoot inside the church, right. only outside of it. Outside we, we did not get approval to shoot inside the church, so we had to go elsewhere where for the interior location shots. <laughs> so technical and correct. Don't get in trouble there. <laughs> That's his producer hat yeah. coming on right now. Yeah. Um, uh, you guys, uh, you have to run. Well, I don't want you to I run. I want to stay but though, you, Rick. <laughs> I want to stay. I want to stay but with you, you, you forever. You, you have a little dependent child waiting. Uh, She's I don't, fine. She, She's she, she be okay. She can she, do stuff now. <laughs> she can walk and say things. Well, be right. Why should those good folks out there go to see Luba? Uh, they should come because they're going to see a real life story about real life people in the city that they live in. So come out to the Canadian Film Fest, see Canadian work, and support Canadian artists. Want to, to that? I think it's a. I think people really enjoy it. I think it's a good movie. It's a good movie. And I think people love having their popcorn, their soda pop, and just be entertained. And we have a really awesome child star in our movie too. So good. Porter Schaefer. Yeah. yeah. So good. Porter man. How cool is that name, Porter Schaefer? Porter Schaefer, like yeah. born to be. Dude, yeah. dude rocks, and he's a whole thing, and his family was amazing. We yeah. really, really got lucky with him and his family. You guys yeah. have something good here. Yeah. Luba uh, at the Canadian Film Festival. Uh, go check it out. Nice to talk to you guys. Nice to meet Very you nice guys. To meet you. They're you. married, too. Oh, yeah. They're married. <laughs> he's kissing everyone. <laughs>